Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. This video of the week will be about iMovie HD, available on Macintosh computers near you. So, in order to get started, we first have to open iMovie HD, navigate to the Macintosh HD icon on your desktop, open up the Applications folder, and you should find an iMovie HD icon. Let's double-click that to begin. If this is your first time opening iMovie HD, you will be presented with a splash screen asking whether you want to create a new project, open an existing project, or make a magic iMovie. We'll skip over the make a magic iMovie section just for the, the purposes of the length of this video. But for right now, let's say that I'm going to create a new project. Go ahead and click on this button, and it'll ask you where you want to save it. In this case, I'll save it on my desktop as migrate movie, the default options here. Go ahead and click create. A few seconds later, you will see the iMovie window. Now, it may look a little daunting at first, but let's just break it down a little bit. Here on the left side, there is the black screen. This represents the preview screen, where you will see the video in action. On the right side, there is the clip screen. Uh, this is where you will import the, the various clips that you have, uh, other media such as photos, for example. Uh, they will all be available in the clips. Then down at the bottom here is the timeline. From here, this is where you place your clips and your photos and arrange them in such a way such that it is arranged on the timeline for your movie. When you first start out using iMovie, you probably don't have any clips to work with. So you might wonder then, how can you import video clips? How can you import clips of your kids playing, of your dogs running around, in order to edit them in iMovie? Well, first of all, you need to have what's called a, di a DV camera, a digital video camera. Now, these are actually pretty standard these days, and they, they have what are called DV tapes. You can go to your local Best Buy, for example, and purchase one. All of these cameras have what's called a FireWire port, or it may also be known as an IEEE 1394 port. You connect this to your Mac, and in iMovie, it will detect it. Uh, I don't actually have one connected right now because honestly I'm using it to record this, but you should see near the lower left hand corner of the preview screen that there is a switch that appears on the right side there's a scissors icon and on the left side there's a camera icon. If you click the switch over to the camera icon you will see the preview of whatever video source you have plugged into it. You'll have to follow the instructions that come with your camera in order to set, up, set it up into the preview mode so that iMovie can control the camera and record the clips. Now when you have a DV camera connected, you will see at the bottom of the preview window a small button that says import or record. When you click on the record or the import button, you will see the clip beginning to record in the clip section of the iMovie window here in the upper right hand corner. Now with the DV camera, it detects when a scene is stopped. It detects when you stop pushing the record button, and it calls that a scene. So if you record a small section of your kids playing, for example, then you stop recording and you move over to another area and start recording again, it will detect this and separate, and iMovie will separate it into separate clips. Those clips will appear up here in the upper right-hand corner. Now after you have imported all of the data that you would like, you can just go ahead and click and drag the clip into the timeline section of your movie. Now you'll see that down here we have the, the clip in the timeline section. We can navigate through it with the, the mouse. If you click just above the timeline, there is a small triangle that, that tells you where on the clip you are located. Now if you have multiple clips, you can just drag those as well in the position you would like in the timeline. So as you can see now, we have two separate clips. Here's the first clip, and here's the second clip. Uh, if we just went ahead and played it, we can see that it will transition from one clip to another, but very abruptly. Now, you can actually have some nice transitions between the two clips. 
right underneath the clip section, if you find the editing button, click on that, and in a second you will see that you have some additional options. You have titles, which we'll come back to in a second, transitions, which is the one we want to work with right now, video effects, and audio effects. So we have a number of transitions, and not all of them are the most professional looking, but in this case, let us just go with the fade in. You can click and drag the transition to right before the clip that you want it to take effect in. You'll notice that there's a small red bar underneath it showing you that iMovie is processing the transition. So if we begin to play, the transition then, the fade in, goes right into our clip. You can add transitions between clips, you can transition, add transitions to the beginning or the end of clips. Really, you can use it at your disposal. So now, that's great, but let's say you wanted to add some text. Uh, if maybe you want to subtitle something that, that somebody said that was really funny but wasn't picked up by the microphone, for example. Uh, click on the title section, and here we can select a particular type of title. So you can select one of the titles in the title section, and it will give you a small preview of what it looks like. Now, we can select this text here and change it to My Heart's Content. So Dan's title, and this might be the subtitle, for example. When you're done editing your title, hit Return, and you will see the preview of your title over your particular video on the left side of the screen, the, in the preview section of the screen. So you'll notice at the bottom of the preview section, there is a play and reload button. If you click that, it will show you how your title looks over the clip. You can see here that I have a very fancy bouncing title into this particular clip. When you're ready to add your title to your clip, just click the Add button at the lower right-hand corner of the title section. You'll see the small red bar at the bottom of the clip indicating that the preview is processing. As soon as it's done, you can go ahead and click Play, and you can preview your transition and your title. When you're done with the titles and the transitions, you can go ahead and add photos and music and anything else from your other iLife library, media library. iLife is the conglomeration of applications which includes iPhoto, iTunes, iMovie, and GarageBand. Uh, this is packaged with all new Macs. So let's say that you have a decent collection of music imported into, the, into iTunes. If you go to the media section on the right side of the window and click on audio, you'll find that you have an iTunes section. You can go ahead and find whatever song you would like in your iTunes library. So let's find one. So when you found a song that you like, click on it once and then click on the Place at Playhead button. It will import the file and in a few seconds it will add the song to your particular clip. This is good if you want to just add some background music to a uh, particular clip that you have. After this is done, you may want to add some photos. So in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you'll also notice that you have a Photos button. Click on that, and you'll have access to your iPhoto library, and you'll ha also have access to your Aperture library if you have Aperture installed. So I just happen to have some from a recent workshop here. Uh, so let's go ahead and just click and drag the photo between some clips here. So after a few seconds, it will import the photo. And now we actually have quite a few settings that we can work with with this particular photo. iMovie comes with an effect called the Ken Burns effect. And this is to allow your photos to move somewhat naturally in your clip so that they do not remain static and somewhat boring in your video. So here I have it enabled and uh, I have a photo settings window here. So I can click on the start section and we can see that it's going to begin uh, somewhat zoomed out in the image. If I click on end, I can then choose the zoom level that I would like and click and drag the image in the preview window to the approximate location where I want it to end up. When I'm done, I can preview my effect by clicking on the play button at the bottom of the preview section of the window. Click on preview and you can see that right here it zooms in very nicely to David Malan. So I'm happy with this, so I'll click on the Update button. 
In a few seconds, iMovie will go ahead and process the photo, just like any other pro uh, clip that it processes. You'll see the red bar near the bottom of the, uh, the clip as it processes that particular thing. So if we click play, we'll then see that our photo glides in very nicely to David Malin. So now I have a movie that I'm somewhat pleased with. I can go ahead and save the file under File Save. But this doesn't mean that the movie is ready to distribute to your friends. If you would like to do that, go to the File menu and click on Export. You'll be presented with a number of options. I think for most cases, you, if you click on the iPod option and just click on the Share button, it will create a very standard size and style of movie that you can upload to various uh, internet sharing sites such as YouTube, Google Video, or even uh, it should be small enough to distribute to your friends. After you've exported your movie, you'll find your exported movie file in the same place that you saved your original iMovie uh, file. You can go ahead and click on that and send it to your friends and family and distribute it as I mentioned before. Well, this has been a video of the week. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Dan Armendaris.